For quite a long time, I've been running these side-by-side -side grow light tests, and the uh, one on the left is from Vibosun, but the one that I'm really testing out right now is the one that is from Spider Farmer. It is the EVO SF1000 grow light, and it's been a little bit since I've had an update. Now, since I've started doing this, I've been doing uh, Piccolino cucumbers. I've had a couple uh, cucumber plants that were 182 days old as of right now. I am using uh, clone cuttings off of those at the moment, which are about 115 days of age. Judging from the amount of spent blossoms all over the place, you can tell that uh, these two clone cuttings have taken quite a beating and age is starting to catch up with them. However, they've been highly prolific and I've gotten around uh, 40 or so uh, cucumbers off of these uh, plants, uh, just the clones. And as a matter of fact, it's still trying to produce. It's just been phenomenal how prolific uh, this particular variety is. The one that you see in front of you is a little misshapen, but Look at that gorgeous cucumber, and they just keep coming on and coming on. So I've been exceedingly happy with the production under the uh, Spider Farmer light with uh, cucumbers. Uh, they are getting around uh, 300 PPFD to the top of that container. My vines are relatively flat, and I keep them pruned. In fact, here's one of the other cucumbers that is on the other side of the container. Uh, the container is six gallons recirculating hydroponics. And that pepper plant that you caught a glimpse of was uh, originally started in one of these 10-watt uh, air garden sprout units and kept in there for 60 days. And it uh, had gotten to the uh, light and was a nice size for a transplant, but uh, really didn't do much of anything under the 10 watt light of the garden that you see in front of you. Once it was moved underneath the Spider Farmer EVO 1000 grow light, uh, the growth has been quite impressive though. You see how large it's gotten. And at the canopy, right across the top of those leaves, it's pulling 600 PPFD. And the reason for the difference between the 300 for the cucumbers and the 600 for the pepper plant has to do with the height of the plant and being closer uh, to the grow light. And in fact, not only has this pepper plant uh, grown quite a bit, it's got uh, little flower buds that are starting to pop up all over the place. The uh, structure of the pepper plant is quite stout and I've already gotten a green pod that is uh, starting to form at the base of the plant and I anticipate that this uh, pepper plant is going to be quite loaded and I may uh, dedicate the container to the pepper plant because at the rate that it's growing it's probably going to be uh, substantially sized for an indoor plant. I have a few nutrients that I use with my hydroponics. Uh, for the uh, grow pell that you were just looking at, I've been using the uh, Dynagro Foliage Pro 936, which is a complete uh, nutrient with macro micronutrients, calcium, magnesium, and uh, has done exceedingly well for several of the plants that I'm growing indoors. And keep in mind that the uh, Spider Farmer EVO SF1000 at 100 watts is actually not the same grow light as the Spider Farmer SF1000. Uh, both those are 100 watt lights, and this is um, designated as the EVO series diode placement. The blend seems to be working out uh, quite well and the uh, distribution of the diodes on the board 
also seems to be ideal for having a nice blanket of light over whatever you're growing underneath. In fact, it's not just the canopy. Look at those roots. Aren't those beautiful, lush, thick, white, fibrous roots? And uh, that plant is exceedingly healthy. So there you have it. Not only does it grow one plant well, but two different species, kind of a multi-cropping in one container, and it handles both with ease. So overall, this uh, pepper and cucumber series is shaping up to be something that I'm quite happy about. If you enjoy seeing updates like this, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps support the channel. And as always, if you have any questions, I would be more than happy to try to answer those for you.